Hey guys, welcome back to this gameplay of Mass Effect Andromeda. Um, I'm sorry about what happened before, but we completely lost audio in the previous video towards the end of it. And I had to save the game, restart, and hopefully the audio should be fine. I don't know what happened, maybe there was a loading error or something, but yeah. We lost a bit of dialogue with the museum curator, the audio portion of it, but now we will talk to Nelson or Nalon and see what uh, quests we can get. The museum curator asked us to keep an eye out for more relics, possibly remnant and garden related, and then bring it back to her. This, I love this city. Elodine. Good news? Well, we got another remnant piece. But nothing on Garin. Pay them for their effort. It's not their fault. Oh, it's you. I watched you land. Hope you're not calling me it anymore. You heard that. I apologize. I, I was ignorant. What's your job around here? Aileen and I help with that. Any so you make relics. Do as I can. She'll praise Ellen and I to anyone. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, I can't even see the guy. He's totally disappeared. So I think that's what basically happened. And this is Ruins of Dar Kulmal. Okay. So this is a museum. I guess we can contribute stuff here. Wow. I guess we can contribute... Um, I've heard so much about you. Is it true you entered a vault on Eos? Sure is. Amazing. I would have liked to see that. Are you a relic hunter like Avela? Actually, I started as an engineer. The Moshai requested my help cracking encryption on a remnant ship she found. Eventually, that led me to the repository. I've been handling data encryption here ever since. I take it you help run this place. Nalan and I are Avela's assistants. It's been strange getting used to that. Why? Avela's much younger than the previous curator. She has a lot more energy. Sometimes I have to remind her to take a break. She's too passionate for her own good. I see. I'll let you go. Pee pee pee. Ryder. They've got amazing Remtech research going on here. You know, the more I interact with the Angara, the more I feel for them. I like PB. They really put a good, decent effort into PB's. I can't imagine. Uh, character. The animations are much better than the other Asari. Believe me, I'm pissed off on their behalf. You nailed it. That's exactly how I feel. We need to make things right. Make things right. Okay. Now, every time somebody says, hey, help us make things right, it's more like, let's start blowing up stuff. Okay, so here we are, and we're inside the museum. We're gonna get out now. Oh wait guys, I, I forgot to... Sorry. I forgot to scan this place. Anything there? No. Alright, bye bye If I go, okay, that's reverse, so I'm just gonna go this way. I love this city. Look how beautiful it is. So the Angarans apparently hold some sort of state lottery, lottery and you get to come to the um, Angara to Aya, depending on the lottery. It's just like, wow. Okay, so here we are. Uh, should we go get that? Okay, let's go to that. 
So the the messages that they are being that are being sent to the Nexus right. are supposed you to are be the subject of a detailed scan by an Angara standing nearby. Maybe I should introduce myself. Hello there. I'm working. You scanned me pretty hard. That wasn't your way of saying welcome, stranger? I wanted to be discreet. Noted. What's your interest in me? You're an alien on my homeworld. Why wouldn't I be interested? You could have asked. Fine. Will you submit to a full spectrum analysis of your biology? You haven't even told me your name. Darn Fred. Biological researcher. This is my home. Are you looking for something specific? We share many external similarities. I want to learn if that holds true internally. I can't fault you for being curious. Scan away. I didn't think you'd comply. I'm full of surprises. That you are. When we face extinction, family is our final comfort. Do you understand that? I came to this galaxy with my family. I lost my father on the day I arrived. But you still carry on his legacy. He knew that in the end. Family is everything. Not only the one we have now, but the ones that follow us. What will your family look like in five generations? Ten? How many of you will there be? You're worried there'll be more of us than you. I have 23 grandchildren. I want to know what their grandchildren will inherit. Goodbye, Pathfinder. You can keep a blind Two, three, maybe five, ten. What do we care? We don't need much. Oh yeah, holographic terminal. Excuse me. Ah, uh, space download. Yeah, just send it to them. Well, <coughs> what do you think? I could get used to this. We take turns living here. You can see why. I love pretty much everything about it. <laughs> I love the air, the breeze. And one day we'll have more places like this. I have faith. Thank you for making sure that this squad behaves while on Aya. I don't tell them what to do on their own time. That's not how Paran sees it. I predict jail in your future. <laughs> I caught Liam on the bridge the other day, teaching Suvi and Kalo an old Angaran folk song. At least that's what I told him it was. Okay. Hmm, don't fret. The marriage can be dissolved by a different song. I'll try to remember it. Oh. <laughs> he got them. Ryder. He got them married? <sighs> Lol, big lols there. He got he got them married. Awesome. Uh what? Okay, cross travel. Open this! It's coming! Hello. This is like the... This is like the Nexus Center, really. Learned you were coming. I've prepared a date pattern our laws regarding war. Learn them. Okay. Basically, be good.
14 pay until close to No, oh, six nine still unstable. They'll be out of food in two days. At our moment, three. They have to fall back. Sounds like you've got trouble. Too many kids, not enough resistance. I have a team that's been in the field for six months without resupply. You mean the coordinates? They won't come in. Say they're close to taking down a kid outpost, but I don't know. If they could do it alone, they would have by now. Send reinforcements. Hitting the enemy in one place leaves us vulnerable elsewhere. But you're right. This is the hardest part of my job. Thank you for the advice, Pathfinder. Did I just give them... Did I just, like, give them military advice when I don't even know what they're gonna give me? Hey, Ephra! I expect you to take good care of Jal out there. I will. I'm sure he'll return the favor. Don't worry about him. You saved the Moshai. That earned his loyalty. Still wrapping my head around what you found at the Ket facility. That... exultation. It must be hard for you. Realizing what the Ket soldiers are. Doesn't change what we have to do. It's war. What do you need? You've been fighting Ket a long time. Any advice? Your war's different from ours. It's still a war, and we're not prepared for it. Wouldn't matter if you were. The Ket aren't a conventional enemy. Any idea where they came from? A home world somewhere? Each of our colonies heard a different story. I doubt any were true. They came far away. That's all we know. Ever tried following a Ket ship to see where it goes? Of course we did. Wherever home is, they don't visit. Do the Ket have a favorite strategy? Something we can exploit? They switch tactics constantly. Almost capricious about it. Makes them unpredictable. They must have some weakness. They're vulnerable to brute force. That's enough. <laughs> the Ket aren't mindless monsters. They must care about something. Slaves. Resources, power, same as any conqueror. You didn't see the exaltation process. They treat it like religion. They convert us against our will. That's not religion, it's genocide. Every culture has its purpose. Theirs is to take whatever they want. Hmm. There's no official Angaran military, just the resistance? Lost our fleets and armies decades ago. Ket, mostly. The rest fell to... internal strife. We kept fighting, but our civilians were disorganized. Poorly supplied. Leaderless. Decades of aimless defiance got us nowhere. I had to make the Resistance real. How is the Resistance organized? Loosely. We operate in cells. Independent strike teams have better odds. If the Ket capture a cell, it doesn't compromise the rest. How did you wind up in charge? Nothing to lose. Ma Last contact I had with any of them was ten years ago. They could still be alive. Didn't figure you for an optimist. What success have you had against the cat? Enemy casualties are up 600% in three years. But that's just a number. Every time we destroy a facility, take out a warship, we give our people hope. And you're not fighting alone anymore. We'll see. I've seen armed people in uniform. They're not resistance? Are your police. Purely ornamental. Gives us the appearance of civilization. You don't think they're necessary? If things go bad, the resistance will handle it. That's up to the governor, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> What do you think of your governor? She governs Arya, not the Resistance. Way to avoid the question. Is there history between you? I can always count on Paran to offer a... spirited argument. You respect her? She holds her own. Not many do. I hope the Initiative is making a good impression. The Initiative? <laughs> Sounds so unthreatening, like a city planner meeting. That's kind of what it's meant to be. City planners don't walk around in battle armor with rifles on their shoulder. Depends on the city. My point is, we traveled through dark space to build something here. That's what invaders always say, at first. We're not invaders. 
Of course. What's your story, Ephra? You're not getting my personnel file. I'd just like to know who I'm working with. You want to know what it's like being me? I wake up every morning to fight a war. I send people to kill and die. If I'm lucky, there are more dead cat than resistance when I go to sleep. That's a hell of a burden. Enough personal discussion. I'll let you get back to it. Good. He's not friendly, but yeah. I don't really blame him. I think that's what they've locked us out. Oh well, that's okay. Right, so we're done talking to, well, everyone. I don't think we can go down there though. There's a weapons version. We'll try. Yeah, we can. Okay, this is awesome. Entering the med center until you're clean. How do I decontaminate? Ion console. Touch the start pad, it does the rest. Thank Sam, you. is this thing safe? Yes. The slight ringing in your ears, there's nothing to worry about. Very reassuring. Hello. I assume you're the human everyone's buzzing about. If you're looking for treatment, I'm afraid I don't know enough about human physiology to be much help. Unless you can make use of the ion beds. If Jal takes a hit on my watch, my doctor needs to know how to treat him. Can you point me to resources she can use to learn your methods? So you're considering all possibilities. Jal is in good hands. I have medical journals on treating Angaran injuries and preventing complications. You're welcome to upload them to your ship's doctor for study. Is there something special about the beds here? They're filled with a negatively charged iron gel. The gel works with our natural electricity to speed recovery. They could work on other species? Without bioelectricity, it would be of small benefit, but it might reduce pain. So you guys are electrically charged? Our bodies produce a store of electricity that we can dispel in a surge of energy. We use it for short-range communication, healing, even combat. I admit, I was surprised to learn your kind doesn't have that ability. Some of us are biotic. It's similar. Kinda. I would be interested to study biotics. Okay, you can take all our I'll data, Patch. Wart. Husbands are like that. In a pool of water. I guess it's like a sunbathing thing. Let's go, guys. Now to check out the weapons version. Please tell me he's got some cool weapons in there. Ah. Ryder. Getting lots of stares. Reminds me of being on Thessia for a sorry commando training. We're the aliens. Much better, everyone. For some Angara, we're the only humans they'll ever see. That's huge. Whatever happens, we'll make a better show than the cat. Mm. I saw a few Angara crying on my way here. Wonder if they heard about exaltation. I wanted to stop and say something. But what can you say? I'm starting to wish I'd brought a chair. Cool. Pathfinder, Ephra cleared you to purchase weapons over my objections. Hey, selling an alien weapons would make me nervous too. 
I don't do this for Ephra. I respect the Moshi. Okay. So, ooh, look at that. We don't have to make the sniper rifle. But I don't think it's going to have the... Yeah, no augmentations. How is the Vanquisher built by Nexus Exiles in, a, in an Angaran Quartermaster's hands? Anyway. I will take... Take that too. And that. Yeah, we'll take them all. Good stuff. I'm gonna get rid of stuff that we don't need. Like type 1 stuff, we don't need that. Type 4 is good. I'm getting a feeling we need another inventory um, boost. Anyway. Alright, thanks. That's good. Good, good, good. We need to be more aggressive. Ah, okay. Mm. Okay, so Liam wanted me to go to the bar. I think that's what, at least that's what it seemed like he wanted, so. So that's like the... Selling to aliens. So what do you want me to do? Not today, Nexus. Liam? God damn it. What's going on? Nothing to worry about. Just come grab a table with me. What's going on? Anyway. Right, uh, these messages, thank you. Yeah, yeah, forward everything to the next sun and it's, a, it's our decision anyway, I mean. I don't really. Take advantage of a rare surplus. Yeah. 
I don't really see how um, Director Tan is gonna do much when we tell him new. going the wrong yeah I'm going the wrong way uh, okay so we'll yeah I completely came the wrong way so we'll just run this uh, this way and get into the tavern but I think I have to get from one more Pathfinder, you're good here. We'll worry about the data another time. Liam, what's going on? I, uh, figured we should head up somewhere nice and open. You were being cased. Are you getting me in trouble? What was this about? We're not in trouble exactly, but I don't blame them for being angry. I wanted to get data that would help yields at our outposts. Varan told me what to scan, but I called it off. I still owe her, but it's better than pissing off some gouging hardliner. Sorry I didn't clue you in. It's a security thing. Food is security. Was this an attempt to copy their methods? Steal secrets? We're not competing companies. It's about learning to live here. Remember my Tempest freakout? I tried proper channels. Got blocked by the Angara and the Nexus. There's only so much Jar can tell us, so I did what we do back in Crisis Response. Bend the rules. Liam, I deserve better than having this sprung on me mid-market. You're right, of course, you're right. And the Angara are right too. The last people who showed up out of the blue were the Ket, the ultimate users. I don't want us getting lumped in with them, and I really, really don't want to ruin the market. Street food and shooting the shit with you? Feels normal. About time something did. We may have to stick to ourselves for a while, if that's what both sides seem to want. It isn't. Saw it all the time during crisis deployments. Us versus them turns into food versus no food. We have to figure this shit out, or both sides will hurt. So, you involve me in corporate espionage, well done. Okay, so this is one more. I gotta go get that one. Mm. Okay, can we just get one of those Fast forward traveling. Welcome to the Tavatan. Feel free. Not as exciting as fresh fruit, but you'll like it. What does Tavatan mean? It depends on the context. If it's a location like this, it's more. What if you need to meet your. It's not so hard to understand. I'm sure you'll learn. Don't get me started. What's in that stuff? We can feed an entire planet in a single harvest. Even ship some off-world. If we used your system, we'd never have a food shortage. If you want, I can send a few samples to your ship. Your people can study it. The Nexus would love that. Consider it done. I'd like a drink. He looks already half drunk, I honestly speak. What's in that stuff? In short, everything. Nearly all the food we... We can feed an entire planet in a single harvest. That's all. We'll come back... Time to go, guys. One more terminal to access, and we're done. What is this? Wow. Well. 
Oh, it's the last one. Oh, please don't have horrible messages. Well, I know that it, it, we, we have this tendency to edit stuff, but we're not going to do that. If there's a, if there's an argument to be made regarding any of the males, I'll argue it based on its merits. If something shit, then we'll bury it. Otherwise, I want to know. And I think that means we'll have to go back to the Nexus after this mission just to cement the whole alliance thing and iron out any other quests. Let's go, guys. It's time to boogie. anyone here in over 20 years. There's always been an active display for Aya, but we could never affect it. Let's see what we can do. Sam? Yes, this is new. Is it similar to the vault on Eos? Tell me, what are you seeing? I think what we need to figure out is, what's different? Tell me, what do you see? The vaults. They're a network, as you discovered. However... They're not connected to each other, but to this place. This image was on a relic the Archon showed me. He called it Meridian. And it looks like Aya's vault is the only one that's fully connected to it. And it's terraforming. Doing what it was meant to do. The vault on Eos is also present, but changed. Our interfacing with it has affected its connection. What do you think, Professor? I think that Meridian is the control center for all the vaults. This discovery might just change everything. If we can get to Meridian, maybe we can turn everything on from there. Make Helios live. Wait, Ryder. The Archon knows where it is. He's already been there. What? Where? Meridian? Of course. That's why he tortured me. He thought I could help him use it. Because he can't. Meridian is my people's best chance for survival. We have to take it from him. Agreed. Such power in the hands of such evil could mean the end of your people and mine. No one is safe as long as he's on this hunt. I'm going to shut it down, for all our sakes. You're going to need that relic I saw. The Resistance might have intel on the whereabouts of Archon's ship. I'll talk to Ephra and secure his full cooperation. Meet me there. Wow. Amazing. Okay, guys, we need to fast travel boom shot right there. Amazing. So, the Remnant's creators built a central vault on this planet called Meridian, uh, Greenwich anybody, which then controls all the other vaults. So, control, whoever controls Meridian controls everything. It's more like whoever controls the Spice controls Dune. So we need to go get the Meridian back from Jackass Archon. I deserve to be told. You had no right to keep it secret from me. 
It's an ongoing investigation. I meant no disrespect. Did Jal know? Of course not. Neither did the human. I could have kept Sam to myself, you know. This is different, not your business. It is now. We need to find the Ket command ship. Tell him the truth about my capture. Moshai, please. It may be our only route to the Archon. One of my men helped the Ket take her, a resistance commander named Venterev. The Archon wanted her knowledge of Remnant Tech, but why would Ven betray her? I don't know. That's why I kept it quiet. I'm working to capture him, make him answer for what he did. You know where he is? Kadar report. My contacts are hunting him. Contacts? You can't trust anyone there. They deserted our cause, our people. And now they're ruled by exiles from your galaxy. Ven may know how to find the Archon and his ship. We can't leave this to a pack of renegades and outlaws. I'm a little new to the galaxy. Where did Ven go, exactly? Kadara Port is a trading outpost. We abandoned it when the Ket invaded. Some of us went back. Deserters, scavengers. They don't support Aya. How did Exiles from the Nexus wind up there? Bad luck for everyone. I need the relic that leads to Meridian, and I can handle my people. Let me do this. I don't like it. I don't care. The Pathfinder is right. I'll transmit my files on Kadara Port to your ship. Our traitor could have useful information. We need him alive. That's up to him. Be safe, Pathfinder. As for you, Ephra, we're not done. Whoa, she's a tough cookie cookie. It's a very tough cookie. The sooner you reach Kadara Port, the faster you'll find Venterev. What Who do you need? Venterev. Anything to help me understand how... He's stubborn. Always He must have had some reason to betray me. What could turn him? Does it matter? Of course it does. Mm. Kadar is full of bad people, but would they shelter a... I did, and got it. But my contacts don't... One's own medicine is always the most bitter. Even if I could cut a deal, Ven's made himself hard to find. Moshai. Do you remember anything of the Archon that might be a clue to his motives? He spoke to me like I was a child. No, worse, a pet. But it was clear he has plans for Meridian. He thought you could help him. Now he thinks I'm the key. He's right. You may be the only person in Helios who can help him. I see. Have you found any other references to Meridian in the Remnant Tech? You're the one who walks into vaults. You tell us. I didn't notice anything. Doesn't mean it wasn't staring me in the face. I studied so many relics over the decades. Nothing hinted at the existence of such a place. Maybe we're not meant to find it. What'll happen when Aya's people learn someone in the Resistance betrayed their Moshai? This treason is unprecedented. It will undermine faith in the Resistance. Not if we show everyone Ven acted alone. That may not be enough. I haven't lost faith in you, Ephra. Neither will they. I'd better give them... Oh. Stars and... Okay. So... What was that about Kroken? Anyway, so basically, the Moshe was betrayed. And now we gotta go get her back. Um, no, we have to go find the traitor. And he's on the smuggler port, which incidentally also happens to house the people that the Nexus threw out. I think, guys, we need to go back to the Nexus and have a little bit of political discussion.
Director Tan, good news. The Angara opened an embassy for us on Aya. That is a surprise. What are their expectations? They survived the Scourge and the Ket, and rebuilt their civilization. Don't forget it. Appeal to their pride. Sensible. I will gather envoys and send them to Aya. Thank you, Pathfinder. We'll take it from here. So we don't need Sam anymore. Okay, uh, we don't have any of this. It's all good. I think we're connected to the internet. My connection hasn't failed. Why can't you just ask her yourself? Because. Because. Just because. Fine. Lexi, Phoebe wants to look at JAL scans. Phoebe, there's I can't divulge patient information. <sighs> Useless. I always have time for you. You... You know where to find me. Okay. We were right about the vault on Aya, huh? What a find. And this Meridian might jumpstart all the others. I knew hitching my wagon to yours would pay off. So what's your take? Is this Meridian what we think it is? Everything we've seen... Each remnant system we've uncovered is connected to everything else. The bots, the monoliths, the vaults. It stands to reason that activating Meridian will connect the entire network and rekindle terraforming across the cluster. So you think we're doing the right thing? Well, yeah. Thanks for... T the thing is, the right thing can be, well, subjective. Okay. Hello? Okay, he's probably down in engineering. I like the layout of this uh, of the tempest. It's it's a bit simpler. Previous one doesn't involve a lot of unnecessary elevators and stuff. Okay, lag means I saved the game. Now exaltation. The cat just keep asking for more. Hey kid. Now that we've been digging, guy like that will do anything to. Did I hear right? You're going after the Archon's ship? Looks like it. 
Last time we crossed his path, you nearly broke my baby here. Tell me you have a better plan of escape this go around. We'll be winging it, as usual. <sighs> I'll get my tools. <laughs> Just <laughs> stay out of the skirts, huh? Good talking to you, Gil. That's like the best response ever. Yeah, we're gonna wing it. Sorry. That vault on Io is so gorgeous, so alive. And Meridian might be the key to the others. No wonder the Archon wants to control it, like everything in Helios. See you at I'll be here. Yeah, to be perfectly honest, I haven't taken any of the romance options because um, I just feel like we're doing something so incredible in this galaxy. Who the hell is time for romance? Sex I can understand, but, you know, just like build a family and stuff. I mean, it's like so damn busy. I'm mean, trying to save the world. Is there much to say about that facility on Vault? There wouldn't be. But maybe not right now. I get you, pal. Your name chats are about nothing coming up. My reports from Ephra regarding Aksul are worrying. I don't understand how the Rokar manages to recruit so many. Do you have a mate? A partner? I don't. Not for a long time. Not for a long time. <laughs> I fell in love with a girl once. Aaliyah. We were young. <laughs> I was young. It was my first vassal on Aya. We worked on the same farm. She was a little older. A researcher. I can still hear her laugh and see her eyes. She kissed me, and I was hers. Thrilled and seduced. But it didn't work out? My older brother came to Aya. He was already famous in the Resistance. Where's Aaliyah now? Did she and your brother work out? They came back to Havao, and she joined our family. She became one of the mothers. You have to see her every day? No. They were taken by the kit. Their children survived. Shit, sorry man. Well, enough about that. I'll see you later. Stay strong. Damn, I'm sorry dude. Jesus. Hey, Pathfinder. Sorry, not much time to talk. What's going on? Lots. It's the outposts. Or, you know, lack of them. So many people counting on us to keep the initiative supplied. I hear that. Should be job one, or close to it. We get enough outposts, maybe the Nexus loosens up and we can start living. Hmm. No, I haven't found any place where I can put down any roots. I mean, not for lack of trying, it's just they don't seem to give me any. Alright. Mm, Sam, 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 Sam. Hello, Scott. Thanks, Sam. Okay.
At least we managed to save the Moshai. I only wish we could have saved more. We just saved quite a few people. Maybe a spell score. Okay, guys, we have to adjust these loadouts. So we have, uh, we have quite a few stuff here. Okay, we have basically twos and ones. So we're gonna go with. Hmm. Yes. Huh. All right. It doesn't. Doesn't need reloading. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so we have this thing. Yeah, I think we're good guys, we're good to go. Alright, so let's just talk to our people. Did we check our emails? Yes. Liam says he's planning a movie night. That's the idea. He's putting it off because it didn't seem right after seeing the exaltation facility. But now there's a delay. I had a thought. Every vid's better with snacks, right? I found an Angaran recipe for these little morsels you can make from a local Helios plant. But it's rare and... You want me to look for one? Oh, would you? I'd love to, you know, be social and things. Okay. Ket genetics defies everything we know. It's bizarre, horrifying, fascinating, all at once. If you and the rest of the team could figure them out, it might... Already on it, Pathfinder. <laughs> Sounds good. The hell you did? You can't just undo 10 hours of work. I had to. Your revamp risks power imbalance between decks, something we solved back home. It's twice as efficient, just because it doesn't match your sainted specs. And now it does. As you say, deal with it. Callo. I know, just please don't let this distract you. What can I do for you? I really hope oh. the two of them aren't gonna just explode the engines at the most inopportune you know, moment. Okay, we're gonna go back to the Nexus, guys. Uh, the why of it is that it's all politics. As you can see, we have some new systems. Govercam. Govercom, as they call it. Yeah, we're gonna go back to the Nexus. Hopefully, we'll get a lot more stuff to explore. It's back to the Nexus. Let's go.
I want to talk to Director Tan, cement the specifics of this whole Ion Alliance, check out their embassy on the Nexus. Um, hopefully make sure that they're not going to do some, anything stupid in terms of policy. And talk to the reporter who wants an interview. We have one... We'll basically have a colony outpost and a research set up. So that's what we have right now. Speaking of which, I've not been to Haval in a while. I need to go check out what's going on there as well. One arc. Jesus. Yes. Nice entry sequence. Okay, so the, they're here, all right. Sangar and diplomats talking. It makes them feel safer, doesn't it? Just a bit. Hey, dude. You! You're the Pathfinder! Thank you so much for returning the Moshai to us. I'm glad I could help. Seems your people really cherish her. She is dear to us. By the way, you should know. The head of our delegation is at your cultural center. He'd be honored to speak with you. Please be mindful of guests visiting the Cultural Exchange Center. We ask that you extend your courtesy and cooperation to our new neighbors. Extend your were grounded for so long. Nice to see them doing what they were. No wonder what my dad would think of all this. Would he have encouraged the move? Come with us if he could? I'm sure he would have, to be with you guys. Yeah, I think so too. Sid doesn't remember anything about him, but I do. I think he might have liked it here. Damn, Ryder, you just missed one of the alarms malfunction. I don't know. It didn't take long to figure it out, but in that time, they managed to scramble at least half the station's defenses. That's quick. They've been running drills? Something like that, my point. No. Yeah. Well, I'm happy to hear. Okay, cutscene. And we're happy to help your guards secure their weapons. I prefer them armed for now. You understand, of course. Oh, Pathfinder, this is the head of the Angaran delegation. The one who saved the Moshai. She speaks highly of you. Call me Issa de Navar. Welcome, Ambassador. The Angara's first formal visit will be one for the history books. I wonder what they'll say. I was just explaining to the Ambassador that armed guards aren't necessary here. Is something wrong, Ambassador? Please walk with me, Pathfinder. So much life. All different, all united. The way it could have been. 75 years ago, we were scattered, 
struggling to rebuild after the scourge. Then the cat arrived. Alien life. It was monumental. But then they deceived and enslaved us. So I hope you understand my precautions. Your people have endured much, Ambassador. I'd be cautious too. Yet all this, your initiative, is proof there's a better way. I want to believe in this Alliance, Pathfinder. The Moshai says you're trustworthy. Please, help me trust in you. We don't expect you to enter this Alliance blindly, Ambassador. Everything we say, you can check. You'd be that open with us? We have nothing to hide. They'll surrender their weapons to your militia, if that's satisfactory. Thank you. We won't disappoint you, Ambassador. Pavoa Sepjav Jaravon, Pathfinder. Welcome to Andromeda. towards gender-neutral where language allows. My people have several pronouns to identify themselves with. We hope you'll enjoy learning Perhaps about I should prepare a people who have arrived Please do. Hello again. Have you heard anything Unfortunately, yes. I'd hoped our encounters would be peaceful, but I suppose that was too much to ask. What do you think of the Angara? I'm thrilled to meet a new culture. They're cautious, but I understand why. I hope we can win them over, cement a friendship. I suppose that's on you. Of course. I'm meeting with Director Addison later. She wishes to discuss planetary armories and perhaps acquire friendships. I'm glad that's finding her. As am I. She also inquired into permissions for personnel to visit Aya. I hope she made it clear we in no our way wish to settle Aya or overstep our bounds. They're happy she is very direct. Have, and I find it reassuring. More about your own culture. The swearing is entertaining too. Hmm. I'm glad you're enjoying it. The animations are dreadful. Founder of the initiative. Hey, Joel. Pathfinder, thank you for arranging my access to the Cultural Center. Mm, there's so much to study here. <laughs> ah, it would take a lifetime. I'd enjoy that. All the reading, history, science, culture. Get some snacks, settled into that corner over there. No offense, but I'm starting with the Asari. Oh, sure. But when you get to Elcor Hamlet, I want to know. <laughs> Shalom. That is my favorite human greeting. So far. Yep, I like it too. Good job. I'm glad this is going well. How may I assist? Please don't. Uh, well, this is going well. Okay, guys, let's go find out who else is exploding right now. I got type 4 everything. Good stuff. So if I really need something, I can just come here and get it. Hello. Ooh, blackout. Monolith. Okay. Nebula. Ooh, Nebula looks good. I like Nebula. Good 
check out the bar and make sure things are not exploding. Where the young guy right in here? Come on, get into the bar. Free drinks for Pathfinders. I'll make sure. Looking good there. You again. Oh, I mean. Oh, Dad. Look. Things are fine. It's people I don't like. They talk back. Maybe they can't resist you. I hadn't thought. Of. Wait. I would ne- Right. Here. The drink. Not you. He looks stoned most of the time anyway after he drinks. Drinks are fizzing tonight. Okay. No Angara yet. Well, we need to get the Turians up here as fast as possible actually. To fight and it's already well and good but the Turians the military kings of we take no shit from anybody need to be on our side Pathfinder. yeah he wanted some plants anyway okay let's take the top I'm sure somebody's breaking something sure glad I went to school for this thanks for nothing We're okay here. Maybe we should just let them stay in this space. I mean, there's so many empty apartments. There we go. Um, there's something here. Oh, okay. Technology labs. I completely forgot about that. God, I make Ryder run so much. He's gonna. He's never gonna gain any weight. Conservation effort can barely keep up. What a wonderful service you've done for us. You've certainly earned your fee. Say so what? Uh, okay. I'm not really sure what we have. Oh well. I wanted to craft one of these buggers. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah.
Oh, this is good. Clips are always empty on these. Yeah, if I hit a flat surface, bounce it. Crafty! Thank you very much. And 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 what? I think we just let the nomad jump more. Yes, we will take that as well. You need more Ezo. Element Zero Core. that even mean? I mean, when you say Liam's... What the heck is Liam's armor initiative bonus? I need to... Okay. Alright. So, we're done with that. We talk to him. Pathfinder, we've had some trouble. Anything I can help with? Perhaps. I discharged an away team to get readings from a section of the Scourge that was behaving anomalously. They haven't reported in. I sent them out there. Good, dedicated people. I fear what might have happened to them. Your work is important. When I'm out there, their friends and family will want to know what's Okay. Can you tell me like where to go? And I, I mean you guys never say which planet I have to visit, you bloody useless gits. The science lab. Give me some science tech. Okay, it's all good. I guess we're done. We're done here, I think. Deal with it, make friends, be happy. Okay, so first we'll get a cryo bay. Let's see, let's see if we can speak to Sarah. It'd be really nice. In the Pythia system has discovered a mysterious facility that authorities are calling a vault. Though not much yet is known about the underground structure, it's believed to be a remnant in origin. Noted the Sari scientist, Pelisaria Basail. What we activated in the vault, drastically Just a few more minutes, and we'll take you over to the next. This is HNS. Trying to understand this. I was 31 years old when I got on the Ark. Right, but that was 634 years ago. So now I'm, um, 665 years old? And think about this. If your big brother doesn't come out of stasis soon, he'll be your little brother. Wait, what? Hmm. <laughs> Ryder, good to see you. Damn shame about your dad, though. I'm sorry we couldn't save him. I haven't heard how he... Like a hero. I've met one Pathfinder. Well, two with you. Yeah. Now I just need to make sure your sister here pulls through. That's all. Well, I know. I know. Wait to see. 
when she wakes up. I wonder if she'll become the second member of the crew and we can go around shooting get together. It'll be lovely. Okay, let's go. Yeah, just reminiscing a little bit of family stuff, guys. Okay, go, 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 go. Alright. Next, we're going to habitation uh, deck. That's where we're going. A ray of hope for sleep starved residents. Maintenance begins on malfunctioning sublamps, causing unending daylight in some Nexus quarters. This is HNS. father's memories is available. Play it. Let's see it. This memory is of a family gathering on Earth. Finally, the Ryder clan in one room. It feels like it's been years since we were together. Or more. Well, I'll take whatever I can get. I've missed you two. How are you feeling, Mom? No, we're not doing that. There's only one rule for this visit. No talking about me. I'm fine. And when I'm not, the pills help. Deal? Okay. Good. Let's talk about something else. Alec? Um... Really? Well, uh... You're both looking... taller. Yeah, Dad. That does tend to happen. Right, right. I know. So, um... I heard the Alliance has a new Mako in the works. Yeah, word is they can airdrop this one from a ship. I know. They're saying we might get one on our next expedition. You still poking around the attic in Traverse? It's amazing. We think we might have found a Prothean site. No artifacts yet, but we're still digging. Ah, uh, I remember the day they found the first ruins on Mars. Changed my life. We knew for sure that aliens were real. We just had to go find them. Yes, every day I wake up, I'm looking at a Mass Effect relay, and I keep thinking, what's on the other side? Don't lose that. The minute you stop wondering what's beyond the mountain, you die a little inside. No chance of that. It's in our blood. You infected us. What was it like, Dad, when you went through that first relay? <laughs> Don't believe the stories. The Garon relay scared the shit out of us, Admiral Grissom included. Why don't we go have this dinner your mom's been slaving over all day? I'll tell you all about it. I remember that. Mom complained the Ryder clan was never in the same room at the same time. Odd, considering you were family. That's all you need to know. Dad wasn't much fun to hang around with. The awkward silences could last for hours. Yet you shared a common interest. Yeah, good or bad, your parents rub off on you. A form of symbiosis? Sure, I suppose. Though not always beneficial. It gave rise to you. Jury's still out on that. Nevertheless, the emotional bonds among family became clear to me that day. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay. I'll keep working on it. That's all for now. Of course. Your father's personal logs. Good job with the Prodromos outpost, Pathfinder. Ready to wake up a batch of colonists and send them down there. It'll be nice to see their excitement when they realize this is really happening. Okay. 
We're done here. Off to base of operations. What I would like is to see more arcs docked at the Nexus. That's what I want to see. guys welcome to operations first we have to we should do a lot of things I'm sorry, Lana. You're just trying to boost our morale. I know my right so where will I can't believe it asylum? you're free oh Pathfinder we have you to thank yes I'm glad you did the right thing Ryder you'd better live a clean life Nilkin or else what what does he mean by that love I'll tell you later. Let's just get home. Attention all personnel. The Angaran diplomatic team has arrived on the Nexus. Please make sure you clean your boots before you enter the room. Yeah, I just finished downloading a game, guys. You can ignore that. Pathfinder. Talk to... Said, oh said, oh said. Hi. I'll let you get back to work. Well, that's about the shortest conversation ever. Yeah, and I don't think they fleshed out our character completely yet, or I have to do something else. Oh well. I guess being thorough has one downside that you don't unlock the content fast enough, but that's fine, baby. Everything our diplomats have done. You're showing them guns, Syax, not how to use a salad board. Supply request is in. Dispatching to your location. Hey, Ryder, I'd like a moment. Yes, Lieutenant Syax, right? That's me. We don't have a good sense of what we're up against and could benefit from your... Yeah, we already talked about this like a billion times. Tracking enemy activity. Command check and... Thanks for understanding about the outpost and the protesters. You don't strike me as the political type. I'm not. Just pro-keeping everyone alive. Maybe those protesters will eventually understand, too. It's done. I don't want to think about it. Need something else? No, we're good. Bye. Uh, let's get up here. The Cultural Center requests special dietary instructions for Angaran visitors. Okay. Wasn't there a nice Asari who wanted to talk to us? I know very well. Oh, uh, God. What is it? You're out there, facing the cat. We hear only rumors making them out to be monsters. Maybe they just don't understand us. Do you think peace could ever be possible? The cat seems set in their ways. So it would be up to us to change? If they have their way, they'll change us into them. That's what they do. Oh, I see. We must continue the fight then. Thank you for your time. Yeah. I'm worried about this place. If the cat find you, then we defend the station. It's all we can do here. You just keep the Pathfinder safe and the cat busy. And be careful out there. I only have one of you. All right. Divert some power from the lower decks. What about the reports, Spender? Writer. Ignore them. He can't complain to number eight about what he doesn't yeah. know. He bothered. First contact, huh? Last one of any note was when your people stumbled over that relay. If they can trade us materials that'll help fix the Nexus, I'm good with it. Okay. Glad to know where she stands. Nice and succinct. Okay, time to find that interview lady. I found the guy I didn't want to speak to, some Solarian concerned citizen, my foot. How may I assist? P 
Pathfinder. Okay, this seems more like I just came here for no reason. Like nobody, nobody wants to discuss the politics of the matter. Who? Okay. What if you want to talk Hi, to Ryder. me? Hi, Ryder. Okay. Hi to you, dear. The Angara have nothing to fear from the people of the Milky Way. But do you have anything to offer? Our wisdom, our knowledge. We have plenty of that on our own. Of course. And you also have food, water, necessities of life. Now we get to the heart of the matter. I would like to lay a groundwork for trade between our people. What would you trade? Well, wisdom and knowledge. We'll take that under consideration. Good day. Something I can help you with? Mm-hmm. It sounds like the Nexus has had a rough time of it. Publicly? I would say we're more than up for the challenge. Privately, I can tell you, it's been a disaster. <laughs> the Scourge killed hundreds, many of them our senior leadership. Even the founder of the initiative, Jean Garson, is dead. How did Jean Garson die? With the rest of the leadership. When the Nexus hit the Scourge, a large wing of stasis pods was destroyed. They were killed instantly. These people traveled 600 years and died before they even woke up. Jean Garson never glimpsed Helios. She never saw her vision realized. No. Kendris mentioned something about hitting the Scourge. How did it play out? Criminal elements took advantage of the emergency and preyed on people's fears. An uprising followed. We had no choice but to turn to the Krogan to deal with them. They crushed the mutiny and the criminals were banished. Exiles. We call them. I doubt we've heard the last of them. They're led by an outlaw, Sloan Kelly. She used to be one of ours. Yeah, now she's on the other. Yeah. Um, Who is this Sloan Kelly? She was head of security on the Nexus. She opposed the uprising at first, but eventually turned traitor and joined them. Misguided sympathy for the plight of the common citizen? Nonsense. They posed a direct threat to our existence. There don't seem to be many Krogan around. Good riddance. The Krogan demanded a greater say in political matters. The last place you want them involved? Their muscle, nothing more. Good for fighting and lifting heavy objects. When they didn't get what they wanted, they left. Why don't you like the Krogan? It's common knowledge that they are a violent, ignorant species. Long ago, they waged nuclear war on one another. Their planet was decimated. Sounds like a possibility My for humans. My tried to uplift them, but the Krogan could never tame their worst instincts. What if they bring their tempers to Andromeda? We'll all be dead. Hmm. What more can you tell me about the initiative? It represents the greatest migration ever attempted. No one had ventured beyond the Milky Way before. We've all left home in search of freedom, fortune, perhaps a new beginning. We are the bravest souls each species has to offer. I hope the Nexus will serve as the seat of government for us all. Mm. What do I need to consider in making a planet viable? Assuming the planet supports life, an outpost is critical. People like a roof over their heads, and you'll want to eliminate any hostile threats. Whether that's the cat or other terrors lurking in Helios, colonists being murdered on sight can be discouraging. Also, scouting and mapping terrain is a priority for any Pathfinder. And don't forget forward stations. You'll want those. As director of the initiative, are you in charge around here or what? If the others would allow me, they don't see me as the rightful successor. Mm. What's their problem with you? I am not Gian Garson. Our founder was charismatic, eccentric, larger than life. Traits I cannot hope to mimic. She and her inner circle perished in the scourge, some at the hands of the exiles, some never made it out of stasis. I was deputy assistant for revenue management. 
Then all seven leaders above me died. I was next in line for the role. So, you're an accountant? Don't let that fool you. We are all capable of more than we know. When I was young, I was fascinated by the idea of exploring space. Life had its detours and I went a different direction. Then I heard about the initiative and saw my chance to try the path not taken. While I may not be setting foot on new worlds, my authority can ensure that you do. Right. Sorry. But I'm... Okay, so we actually don't have any quests on the Nexus. Um, no, I think we're pretty much... Yeah, we're done. It appears that we are very much done. I mean, there's nothing. Attention, civil disobedience. So I, I honestly thought we'd have a few more quests to do. The lady wanted it to be me. Oh, well. Okay, okay. Ah. Claimed their families were being kept oh. in stasis in favor of sleepers with political connections. So much for avoiding her. She's right there. Did you hear about their board things? This is HNS. Free for an interview? I'd like to know more about the Angara. It's not often a first contact goes so smoothly. At least the Angara are more peaceful than the cat. There's high hopes for this alliance. The Angara are survivors, and they're willing to help. They'll be great allies. The Angara soldier who joined your team has a few fans already, but everyone's talking about Aya. Green plants, flowing water? Our leaders have discussed whether we should send colonists there. Aya is a sovereign planet of the Angara. We have no right to settle there. Strong stuff. Here's hoping we don't need to. Okay, that's... Colonist registration is up since last episode, as is morale. Tan sent this for you. Inspiring, huh? I tried. It's like they spawn when I'm not looking. It never ends. We could send him a gift. Yeah, I'm What do I got a drink? Gallery. You think I wouldn't keep an eye on my shipments? Please report it. Tan sent it for me? Okay. Uh Okay. What's going on? I could be dead. I don't know about these Angara. Whoa, it's the Pathfinder. It's me. You're the one who befriended these strange new people, these and how do we know we can trust them? I mean, for certain. Remember, we're the strangers. This is their home. I guess. Talk to them. See for yourself. Good advice. Why would I leave? Okay. Hi. This is Jan Garson, the founder of the initiative. Right now, I can say for 600 more. We are constantly striving to make life on the Nexus more enjoyable for all our citizens. But we know there's always room for improvement. If you have any suggestions, this is not what I signed up for. What a mess. It could be worse. We could be dead. Okay guys, so I think we're done on the Nexus. Um, it's time to go. This is amazing. I can't believe we made it. I'm glad we did. Ryder.
All right, guys. Well, we're gonna finish this launch and then I'm going to save the game and quit here. It's been fun talking with you guys. It's been fun playing this game with all of you. Thank you so much for joining us. Feel free to um, like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll keep the games coming. Thank you, everybody. God bless everyone. Peace. I think Lexi wanted to speak to you.